Hi. Pre-game video here. Who are we going up against? The New Orleans Saints. As I say, the past couple of times we faced them. Nope, not good. Not good at all. Now, I would like to say that despite the 1-2 and two record they have, they have been playing hard. The wins just haven't happened. I mean, they're 1-2 and two for a reason. They stink. But like every team the Cowboys are going up against, it doesn't matter if they suck. They're not to be messed with. Of course, the Saints have Drew Brees, who's considered elite. Oh, I have heard from a few people who think he's overrated. But, you know, that's just what they think. I wouldn't exactly call him overrated. I mean, they won a Super Bowl for a reason. Now, they they are of course struggling, and they're also str they're, they're struggling in a lot of areas. Defense primarily, it seems like Rob Ryan does not have the magic touch anymore, or the golden touch, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't seem to have it, and the defense is giving up big plays. The Saints, if you know, it's three, it's th going to be four weeks into the season. They just have not been doing so hot. Cowboys, um. And then we all know about the drama involving Morris Claiborne. He found out he was demoted and uh, I guess threw a hissy fit and walked out. He later came back and apologized, saying that he wasn't told of his demotion in, I guess, a professional manner. I mean, is there really any nice way to tell somebody, oh, we're sorry, but you've been demoted? Not a smart move by Morris Claiborne. Of course, Orlando Skandrick is going to be starting instead of Claiborne, but I guess that the demotion came from, you know, taking a look at Claiborne's entire body of work over the course of time, over the, the amount of time that he's been with the team. And I'll be honest, it sucks. It just sucks. Excuse me. Injuries have slowed him down. There's something going on up here that's screwing, that's just screwing him up. There's a lot of things going on. And, um, kind of, uh, it stinks. I mean, there are those who are calling him a bust. But for him to walk out like that, it's, no. Not good. Not good at all, so. And Skandrick's, Skandrick's really, is, is pretty good. You know, he's done, he's done well. I mean, he did nicely against the Rams his first game back from that suspension thanks to the um, NFL's brand new revised drug policy. So, sorry about that. And that's going to be it for me. And, um, well, I actually forgot what do the Cowboys need to do. Well, probably do what we did against Tennessee. Go to the, or, I mean, St. Louis, I'm sorry. Stick to the running game. And, and DeMarco Murray's got to work on the fumbles. I mean, he's this, he's first three games of the year, he's had a fumble. So he's really got to hold on to that ball tight and not let it go every time Romo gives it to him. And hopefully that offensive line continues to do well, keeps making those holes wear the Saints defense down and probably open up opportunities for the passing game, which has been, yeah, you know, which has been good. And, you know, I don't, I mean, maybe it's better to Rome not throw the ball for over 400 yards, which is, which is just fine. It puts less, um, less pressure on him. So that is now that's actually going to be it. <laughs> and I will see you folks tomorrow night with the post game show. Or post game video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See you folks tomorrow night. Bye.